so there's a couple of ways you can connect with me here is either you're gonna write something to me on the chat box and or if you want to unmute yourself and ask me a question, I'll be more than happy to answer it to the best of my ability. Anybody? Okay. Hi, Mina. Nice having you here today. Thank you. It's nice to be back. Yeah. How's it going, Hamar? Are you still living there? Uh, uh, not in Hamar, but 30 minutes away, 10 minutes from Hilda. Okay. Right. It's fine here. The snow is melting, starting to be a little green around. Right. We're, we're in March. So, yeah, hopefully by next month, it will warm up a bit, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you, you're all going to have to visit, come to Tulum for, for another retreat. Huh. Well, nice, nice seeing you again. You too. Okay, um, uh, Samuel from uh, Facebook, I can't internet, I can't interact with you verbally on Facebook. So if you want to talk to me, the best is to sign up and come on, uh, on Zoom. And you can go through my website, which is zaratustra.tv, and uh, you can do it next week. Um, join us here on, on Zoom, and we can talk. So, let's see if we can... Hi, Cecilia. Nice seeing you. Hi, brother. Hi, Zara. You're doing a good job. How's it going? You're you're muted. Good. Okay. Um, how am I now? You're good now. Okay. Uh, can you expand a little more on how to remain in that moment of power and presence and magic as we described it today? Uh, all of us here undoubtedly experience that or that state. How many yeah. of us can remain in it other than yourself, which you have said uh, Happily, you do. Um, so, can you reflect on that a bit? How we get to your stage, perhaps, or our own best stage, or simply to is right. it getting back to the moment? Is it breathing? It's obviously present. It's many things, but you know, I leave it to you. Sure. Thank you. That's a great question. I appreciate it. The we're conditioned not to be here by, from childhood. As we get older, we get schooled and we get food. So to activate our minds and getting sucked out of this moment by continuously being reminded that we need to be mindful of our future. Yes. Because when you're a kid, and as you observe any children, they're all playing and they are here. No, none of the kids are thinking about the future or 10 years from now or investments or things like that. 
So now we're adults and we're in this situation and we get come, we come to the light, we're coming back home and we're basically are seeking inner peace. <clears throat> we're looking for happiness or we're looking for something to free us from the misery that we may get into. And that misery is basically the mind, our thoughts, our fears, our worries, whether it's emotions or thoughts or whatever's happening to the body. And we, it gets our attention. So how can I free myself from this? Because I'm suffering. But suffering means that here and now is not good enough. And I don't know how to connect with it. And things should be different. I should be somewhere dif different with somebody different. And existence has not given me what I want. I'm not getting what I want. So basically, when the attention comes, the shift starts to happen, that we're capable of shifting the attention, bringing the attention to a different part of ourselves. And that part of ourselves is, is the presence. There is, there is a huge mighty presence of an energy field or higher self, God, whatever name I want to put into it, is here. And intelligence is always here. And this part of us, its presence is not conditional. It's always here. And this part also, it hasn't been born and it's not going to die. It doesn't have time limitations. So as the attention shifts and we recognize or get the glimpse, glimpses of something here not changing, it wasn't born, it won't die. Something here is always present. And as our attention, as we start to notice it, whether your teacher is telling you or you read something about it or you had spontaneous awakening, in recognition of that which is always here. The attention starts to move in that direction. And you begin to touch this place. And this place, its beauty, is, its magic is when you, you disengage from the world of the thoughts. Because the world of the thoughts is objects that coming and going. There's thoughts traveling all the time in your mind, emotions coming and going all the time. And there's this part which is present and not moving, not coming and going, is aware of these elements. Those elements cannot bring you any happiness. They just bring misery or the happiness that comes through the emotions is always momentarily and it's temporary. But as the attention shifts towards that which is always here, that which is present and non-changing, you touch that other part of yourself, which is almighty, it's much bigger. Mm -hmm. So by noticing that part and sort of disengaging from the thoughts of not buying, you may not be able to stop your mind, but you're able to recognize that there is a stream of thoughts going through your head all the time. And this is not going to bring you any comfort. And this gets stimulated by the bad news, by the world news. It gets a lot, it gets more activated. 